So this video, um, I want to quickly go through how to modify a bow uh, bridge pin to fit your particular guitar if the bone bridge pin that you bought, for example, this one is Bliss Time uh, that I bought for around like nine, eight dollars on Amazon. It comes in a whole set of beautiful unbleached bone bridge pins. And uh, unfortunately it doesn't fit my guitar. I have an Avaraz Yari vintage guitar. As you can see, I put it in here and only um, the top, the bottom part is going in. <coughs> there are still quite a lot of distance from the, um, for the top to go all the way in, okay? Uh, it's a very simple and easy modification. And to replace the original one, this is an ugly plastic one that came with the guitar <coughs> that I'm replacing with those. Um, you just need a minimal amount of tools. Let me show you what you need, okay? You need a power drill <coughs> that has a uh, like a kind of tip on the top that can grip those little head on the bone <coughs> on the bone pin, and you also need some very coarse sandpaper. The sandpaper I have here is a 150 grit sandpaper, multi-purpose, and uh, the more coarse, the faster this job is gonna be. You don't need a very fine sandpaper because this part nobody's gonna see it. And all you want to do is just quickly grind this down so it can fit into the bridge perfectly. As you can see, uh, with a little modification, you can have a perfect bow nut for your guitar in no time, okay? Uh, the front two is unmodified, and this one is just about, uh, I would say, two to three minutes of sanding on the, on the thing. So I'm gonna show you how to mount it. So what I do is I basically just open this uh, tooth all the way up and as I open as I open it up and once it fits, I just kind of like put it somewhere here in the center and just close it with the tip pointing as straightforward as possible. So when you spin, it's gonna be a minimum amount of play right there. And as you can see, once it's mounted, um, you can spin it by pressing the obviously the trigger. And this is where the sandpaper is gonna come in handy. You're gonna just cut a small piece of sandpaper, like literally uh, a square, a small square is all you need on a 150 grit because it just cuts down super fast. And you're just gonna wrap this around here and you're gonna start turning, okay? So this one, I already sanded it down to the perfect size. So I'm gonna show on this one, but I'm gonna demonstrate on the another one to show you guys how quickly it is to modify those bridge uh, pins to fit your particular guitar. <coughs> if your guitar have a smaller hole right here. Okay, very, very easy to do. And okay, I'm gonna unmount this one. And people are wondering, oh, like if the tip is gripping the, the head, like is it gonna cause some sort of bump? Like if you look over here, there are no visible area that's that's shown where I gripped this little part. So the bone knot is actually pretty hard. And the reason why it resonates so well, okay? So you don't have to worry about, just don't over tighten this pin. Like once it once it grips it, just give it a, a little extra turn and don't over tighten. Like for me, maybe four clicks and it doesn't move in there and that's already good. <coughs> and I'm going to just, uh, you know, start turning and sending. Once I sand about halfway, I'm gonna come back here and try to fit. And until that point, it perfectly fits, I would stop the sanding process. All right, and over here, I'm just showing it over my trash can because I don't want this bone powder to fly everywhere. Um, and I'm gonna start on this one, okay? This one is untreated. Uh, first time I'm gonna grind this particular one. And again, I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. The most important part you want to send down is the top part. So I'm applying more pressure on the top part as opposed to the bottom. You don't have to worry too much about the bottom, okay?
right. So that's about, you know, 10, 15, 15 seconds maybe. I'm gonna go back and check and then come back and continue to grind until the size fits perfectly. All right, the good news is uh, it's already halfway through with that just little, like maybe 20 seconds of grinding. And I'm gonna continue to grind. Again, as you can see, very little sandpaper you need because this 15, 115 grit is very coarse and it cuts down really fast. again all right guys as you can see a little bit of the elbow grease uh, we're able to actually get all five of those bone nuts polished and this is the very last one and I just finished uh, polishing it on my drill so I'm gonna unlock it on my drill and we're gonna give it a test try hopefully it would fit and looks like it just needs a little bit extra work so you can see there's a still a little bit of space on top so I'm gonna grind just one last time and after that all those should be fitting perfectly. And that's how you're gonna fit a bone nut that's otherwise, you know, um, too big for your guitar. Um, <clears throat> very easy to do, as long as you have a power drill and <clears throat> a little bit of the time, you're able to sand this down with just some super simple square piece of sandpaper on each of those uh, uh, pins. Um, took me about I would say 15 to 20 minutes for all six pins, only because um, each pin actually I have to try it multiple times just to make sure it's got a perfect fit. Otherwise, um, it should be quicker if you're a little bit more aggressive, but uh, take your time. Really, it's, it's a joy to do and kind of fun. So uh, don't rush it and just make sure all the pins fits perfectly in each hole, okay? All right, we're giving it one last try. This is after a few more grinds. And now you can see it drops in there perfectly. And from this point on, you could go ahead and install um, your guitar strings. Um, so hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And uh, if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And I should have more uh, guitar repair and tune up tips for you guys coming out in the next video. And you can see those ugly plastic pins. Now they can go to the trash and those beautiful <clears throat> bone nuts or bone pins are a must for better vib vibration transfer and better sound and also better appearance. Okay, so yeah, do um, hit the like button or subscribe. And I uh, also have the purchase link down below where you can get those super affordable uh, Avalon um, decorated nuts uh, on Amazon. So yeah, feel free to buy them and uh, hopefully it works for your guitar. Okay, take care.